Fegana presents. Living things and non-living things. Programmed by John Ferguson Aditi. What are living things? Living things are organisms that perform the following live activities, respiration, reproduction, locomotion or movement, feeding, irritability, growth, excretion etc. Examples, man, goat, sheep, birds, cattle, dog etc. What are non-living things? Non-living things are organisms which cannot perform live activities carried out by living things as mentioned above. Example, are book, pen, stone, table, water, chair, etc. Some characteristics of living things. What are the characteristics of these living things? Respiration. It is the process whereby food is broken down into simple substance, with the help of oxygen to release energy. Locomotion, movement. It is the process by which living things move from one point to the other. Some of the reasons why living things move are a. to change their position when they encounter danger, and b to search for food and shelter. Reproduction, it is the process by which living things give birth to their young ones. Nutrition, feeding, is the process by which living things take in and use food for their life activities. Growth, it is the irreversible increase in size and weight of an organism or the process of cell division and cell differentiation, which manifests in an increase in size, weight and height of an organism. Excretion, it is the removal of waste metabolic substance or materials, from the cells of the living organisms. Irritability, sensitivity, it is the process by which living things respond to stimuli, react to changes in the environment. Some of the external forces are, sound, temperature, light, touch etc. Plants which respond to stimuli, are sunflower, and mimosa plant. Differences between living things and non-living things. One, living things respire to release energy for their life activities, but non-living things do not respire to release energy. Two, living things respond to stimuli, but non-living things are not sensitive to their environment, hence does not respond to stimuli. Three, all living things die, but non-living things do not die. 4. All living thing reproduce, but non-living things do not reproduce. 5. All living things take in food, to be able to perform their life activities, but non-living things do not take in food, hence do not perform many life activities. Activity 1. 
Ask pupils to a. Collect different kind of living things from their environment. b. Group the living things above into plants and animals. c. List difference between plants and animals. Some examples of animals and plants. Give the examples of these animals and their plants. Goat, chicken. Their plants are maize plant, cowpea plant. Man, turkey. Their plants are yam plant, tomato plant. Cat, parrot. Their plants are cassava plant, carrot plant. Cattle, grass cutter. Their plants are orange plant, oil palm plant. Pig, snake. Their plants are Coconut plant, mango plant. Differences between plants and animals. 1. Plants are autotrophic. It means that they are able to prepare their own food by the use of the sunlight, but animals are heterotrophic. It means that they are not able to manufacture their own food. 2. Plants show growth movement, that is, they are fixed in position, but animals move from one place to the other movement. 3. Growth in plants is uniform and intercalary, but growth in animal is not uniform, and stops at maturity, not intercalary. 4. Plants take in carbon-4 oxide and give out oxygen, but animals take in oxygen, and give out carbon-4 oxide. What are some similarities that can be identified, in both plants and animals? The similarities, which can be identified in both plants and animals are, both of them reproduce, respire, grow, and die. Cells What is a cell? A cell, is the basic structure and functional unit of life, or, a cell, is the basic unit of life. Below is a labeled structure of plant and animal cells.
Activity 2. Teacher guide pupils to draw and label the cell of a known plant and animal. Observe cells from ornithopidermis and from the inside of the cheek under a microscope. The main differences between plant cell and animal cell. 1. Plant cell possess chlorophyll, but animal cell does not have chlorophyll. 2. In plant cell, the cells have cell wall, but in animal cell, the cells do not have cell wall. 3. Plant cell has large permanent vacuole, but animal cell has small temporal vacuoles. 4. There is absence of centroils in plant cell, but there is a presence of centroils in animal cell. 5. Plant cell stores food in a form of starch, but animal cell stores food in a form of glycogen. Activity 3. Let pupils examine a. a unicellular organism, amoeba, using microscope. B. A multicellular organism, like man, dog, etc. What are the similarities between plant cells and animal cells? The similarities between plant cells and animal cells are. 1. Both of them have membrane. 2. Both of them have nucleus. 3. Both of them have mitochondrion. Differences between unicellular and multicellular organisms. What are the differences between unicellular and multicellular organisms? The unicellular organism is composed of one cell, which it uses to perform all the life processes, whilst multicellular organism has many cells and hence all life process which is to take place in the body of such an organism, are shared among the individual cells. Give some examples of unicellular organisms. Examples of unicellular organisms are amoeba, eugalina, spirogera, paramecium, etc. Give some examples of multicellular organisms. Examples of multicellular organisms are, man, dog, cattle, cat. Description and functions of the parts of plant and animal cells. cell wall. It is the non-living part of the cell, and mainly consists of cellulose. Functions. 1. 
it gives regular shape and size to the plant cell, due to the presence of cellulose. 2. It provides support to the plant. Nucleus. It is the part of the cell, which performs the life activities. It consists of dense structure in the central part, called nucleus. Function. 1. It controls all the metabolic activities of the cell. 2. It controls cell division and cell differentiation. 3. The nucleus contains chromosomes, which controls reproduction. Chloroplast.